Hi everybody, sorry I'm driving. Actually, I'll be stopping here in a moment. Um, in this video, I will talk about a couple of things. Um, I will talk about how my night went last night. Um, I received my first check. Um, let's see. What else I will talk about? Um, it's something else how my night went my first check oh and what i plan to do is my first check so uh, we're gonna jump right on in it so um because i'm waiting now for someone to come up i'm in my aunt's apartment so as soon as someone come up hey i can jump in through the gate so yeah so basically um how my night went yesterday so or last night. I was actually off last night. I worked. Um, me and this other nurse, we switched shifts because my brother has something very special planned for his girlfriend, if you know what I mean, proposing. Um, Saturday, next Saturday. So um, he would like me to be there. And um, so I found someone to switch shifts. Um, the two PRNs they both were busy or had to work so like the night before or something like that or you know the morning shift so i asked the other night nurse on the um different on the opposite rotation of me and so she agreed to switch so yeah i decided to work her friday um uh, which today is saturday so friday night saturday morning so she will work um uh, saturday sunday and um yeah, because she was supposed to have a three-day weekend um, to work. So, yeah. So, um, basically, it was crazy. It started out being crazy. Well, gosh, this is the longest I ever sat up here waiting on someone. Guess I'll go and park. So, um, it started out being crazy. I had a residential fall um, going to the restroom. Or, actually, I think he did use it, but failed. He didn't really remember but um everything was fine neuro checks um head to toe assessment um i had to do documentation for the injury report okay here goes somebody so i had to do the incident report um also call the doctor call the family um text my boss well i text the doctor too i think that's it that was my first time doing one so yeah but i'm glad he wasn't injured so that started with that everything else oh no my seat i have to say everything else was fine but no then i said no so um i'm trying not to keep this video long too because i'm at three minutes already and so um then the cna who i've met before because um if you guys remember um when i tried to quit i did train with the nurse that i just switched with y'all would know that if y'all watch my videos and um oh, okay we got a lift driver around they had a little nice light but anyway so um that's my thought okay i'm here now so i can park and finish recording let me lock my doors Oh, they already walk. So, um, yeah, so the CNA of this rotation, she was sick or whatever. So she left, went to the hospital. Woo -thoo -woo -thoo -woo -thee. So we had two other um, CNAs. One was for the other end of the hallway, and the other one was for skilled nursing. Well, come to find out, they took uh, one, one CNA took one half, the other CNA took the other half you know like the one side the other one to the other one or whatever and i'm not gonna say that okay they were lazy um literally it was awful because um i'm trying to think what i will say because i don't want to step on anybody's toes um, some of my viewers from watching because of their nationality and stuff. But, um, yeah. 
So they basically, you know, talk about that they have to get tend to their people, we'll do the before they tend to mine. And they was on a call like for a long time. I'm not gonna even tell y'all how long because it was ridiculous and I felt bad for even waiting that long because here's the thing with me i'm one to help my cnas i don't mind changing a resident um some of the nurses say i have heard say we don't have to change residents it's not i'm not gonna say it's not our job but y'all get what i'm saying but that's not me that's not the type of nurse i am so i went ahead and changed um these people i changed three people one, two, four people. And um, they was on a call like for a long time. And you know, I apologized to them and um, told them, you know, hey, we were short because such and such had left, which she did, because they, they all seen her. She changed her people before she left. She did all of that. So it was a lot going on last night. And, um, but for that last round, I did help the one of the CNAs get someone up but um other than that i was not about to do it at five o'clock i get off at six i was not about to um uh, be changing those people plus doing my mess and what i have to do no i'm sorry y'all i had a nappy it's getting nappy i had a straight but it's it's getting a little rough <laughs> sorry y'all got sidetracked again but yeah i was not about to do but i'm glad that they stepped up and did what they was supposed to do uh, even though like around this all happened like two or three o'clock when they was on those lights i didn't like the fact that they you know basically neglected them but i stepped up and did whatever so that happened um like i said i have my chick yeah it's something else i was gonna tell y'all but i can't remember but let's go ahead and get on these checks um i do have two simple because i did not cash my orientation check yet um y'all know i make 22 dollars and some change 22.50 let's just be real <laughs> i'm not sure if i if i even ever told you guys um the exact amount but it's 22.50 um yeah i have okay nope that's my big chick so for two two hours is no about two and a half hours of orientation that check came out to be 57 dollars before taxes 6188 so and i'm not going to show y'all the actual check stub because i have to really cover everything up my address with well, my aunt's address which is they don't have the whole apartment number the place i work in. i just have to do all of that trust me i'm bringing from the paper like it's right here like this is it this is it this is the actual check so yeah like you can see the net pay right there i uh, hope y'all can see net pay i don't know if y'all can read that but yeah you see this the check so yeah it's right here um but yeah that's my orientation check i thought i lost it because guys i got i got that check when i had that rental and um i was like dang i sure hope i didn't leave it in the room or somewhere but i i put it in a special folder that i'm using um for like my policies my reports from those wrecks one of them i need to get and um new bump coming and um and my apartment stuff so i had it in that folder okay so that's part here so um i have a full check yeah it's basically full um because as you guys know i did try to quit so the night that i called in she did let me um work another another lot not another night so technically um i had a full um two week check because we get paid twice a month um first through the 15th we get paid on the 22nd 16th through the end of the month is on the 8th or whatever date was yesterday i mean y'all know i'm so behind right now yeah because it's the 22nd i don't know what yeah it's the 22nd so 
<laughs> when I say 22nd, I mean 22nd cheek. I know today's date is not the 22nd, if that makes sense. So our next shit will be on the 8th, 7th or 8th, whatever one. But it's the 15th through the end of the month is on that check. So this check here is usually the bigger check. Um, it was only seven days. Um, I'll say most months you're gonna have between seven and nine days, but this is one for seven days. I had um, 81 hours and I guess like seven minutes. And for OT, um, yeah, overtime I had an hour and seven minutes i guess it's like 1.07 so i'm um, not sure what that's all about but all together i had 83 hours and 20 minutes it's 83.20 so i'm assuming the 20 mean minutes just saying um all together my net no my gross pay was one thousand eight hundred and sixty dollars that's my gross pay after they took out medicare and federal withholding and something else oasdi i'm not sure what that is but it was 112 dollars that they took out on total taxes of 267 dollars that they took out and i also have a few deductions i have dental which is six dollars and thirty three cent um, medical, which is my insurance thirty six dollars and five cent per pay period. Both of these are per pay period, um, and I have some kind of employee emergency. I just donate two thousand two dollars to that each time I get paid. It's supposed to be like something to where if something goes wrong or if we need some help or something like that, they will give you money. So I just donate two dollars. So, all together, my total deductions is $44.38. Again, that's with my dental, medical, and that employee emergency. Um, so, that will be each check, like $44.38 coming out of each one of my checks. And um, other than taxes, my take home, which is my net pay, was $1,000. Five hundred and forty-eight dollars and fifty-five cents. So yeah, um, I'm 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 blessed. I feel good about it. Um, I worked hard for that money. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's good to know that it was only seven days, if that makes sense. So it's like a week, you know, mind game. So, yeah, that was my take home, $1,548.55 with seven, um, it was a seven day check. And as you guys know, I work 12 hour shifts, um, but yeah, and also they got my, uh, federal wrong. They have me as three and that shouldn't be three. So my check will be a little less than it. So yeah, I have both of those checks. I have not cashed them. But I will be cashing them soon. Uh, what I plan to do with my check. And y'all, I was supposed to write this down before I recorded. And I forgot. Because I was like, well, let me go ahead and start the video. Since I was right outside my aunt's apartment. Uh, so that way, I won't have long being out here. But I'm sorry, guys. First and foremost, what I will do is pay my tithes. Because, and I'm, I will be brief. I will be very brief with this. I'm going to pay my tithes and start paying my tithes regularly because um, when I tell y'all, God really worked this thing out. When I, um, as far as me passing in clicks, me being in a place, me actually becoming a nurse, not knowing whether or not I was going to pass my semesters, but the fact that he came through each and every semester because I had different obstacles that came through every semester. I almost fell in second semester. First semester, second semester, I mean, first semester, if my teacher didn't replace the lowest test grade, I would have flunked out. So, you know, you know, it's, it's a blessing to be able to, um, still manage and become a nurse 
I'm sorry. I'm, I maybe I feel like I'm talking so slow because I have so many thoughts running through my head. But um, you know, I thank God for my job, even though I may not like it. Um, but someone wishing that they had my job. So, you know, I'm blessed. So I'm definitely going to pay my ties regularly. First thing coming out, um, and it's coming out of my net pay, what I bring home because, hey, it's what goes in my hand. So, yeah, I'm going to pay my ties. Um, also, I plan to... Um, I said I was going to put down for an apartment, but I'm not sure where I want to stay. Um, I'm thinking the Fort Worth area because it's closer to my job, but I'm not sure because at the end of the day, I don't know if I will stay there. So I may wait to do that on my next check. Um, I also need to give my aunt maybe $200 to $250 just for allowing me to stay. Um, not sure she's gonna take it because I do pretty much buy the food in the house, but we'll see. Uh, if not, if I have to um, take it to the rent office, I will. I may do three hundred, just because. Um, also, paying bills like, and I'm just gonna call these out top of my head. Um, phone bill. That's like. Mine may be like at 150 because I didn't finish paying, I don't think, all last month. And my bill is usually like 115 My internet back at home and cable, um, because I had internet first and then when we, we took the satellite down, we canceled satellite and got cable. Um, so I just added it to mine because it's in my name or whatever and I haven't switched it over or canceled the internet yet. Lazy crazy because my mama don't even use the internet but i'm still paying so i'm gonna pay that and when i pay it i'm gonna cancel um my life insurance policy um that's only like 43 44 dollars the internet and cable will be like 150 um just small bills like my bills aren't much like three hundred dollars because i don't have my own place so i'll pay all of that um i have to knock down my discover card um so i'm i planning to pay maybe around three hundred dollars on that car notes um more than likely i will go ahead and pay my car notes just so um, I don't have to worry about that on next check because my car note, if I'm not mistaken, is due like the next day that I get paid. And so um, I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out. Maybe possibly this time, um, I may send my mom some money, I'm not sure. Um, sorry to say this for all the moms out there, but I tried, no, I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna go there. Um, I don't want to start something that I can't continue doing. Read between the lines. Man, that bump is huge. I didn't even know that bump was there. Like, I, I'm not gonna lie. I discovered most of my bumps on my face. Like, I'm sorry. That was gross. Uh, I discovered most of the bumps on my face when I'm recording for some reason. I don't take too many pictures on my phone unless I'm going out. But yeah, speaking of going out, I'm actually going out today. Um, to a comedy show i think it's in plano texas um this girl that i met on facebook studying for in clicks i even um uh, mailed her some note cards that a girl mailed to me we all met online well not all of us don't know each other technically i don't know her but i think i think even they have um talked before because like we in quite a few nursing groups and you you can kind of tell you know people who post and stuff like that but anyway so she'll be in the area she's from this area we're going out um so i'm looking to have a great time with her and to meet her and we encourage each other a lot um uh, stuff like that so it's pretty awesome that i get to meet one of my facebook friends from a nursing group so yeah um, she's paying my ticket and i'm buying dinner for us so yeah um 
I think that's about it, you guys. I'm going 20 minutes. Like this is this is my longest video. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop here. Um, like, comment, subscribe. You guys, I since I was talking about this um white head or whatever it is, I can't really tell from the camera. What are y'all face routines? Because my face be breaking out. And I don't know if it's stress or not, because like the job itself, you know, like I said, I'm undecided. Like I'm getting I'm comfortable with the people, the residents. A lot of things I don't agree with, like as far as their actions. But overall, I'm getting used to the job. And even to where I'm even, you know, thinking like, okay, do I want to train somewhere else? Do I want to have to learn residents all over again? You know, stuff like that. But believe me, the money is not keeping me there. I would love to make $20 doing something I enjoy doing. You feel me? So don't ever think I'm basing a decision off of money. Unless it's like $18 and $19. Out here in Dallas Fort Worth area. Let, let's just but if I relocate like back to where I used to stay, like going towards Houston not in Houston of course but it's like two hours from Houston I will sell them for $19, $20 because the cost of living is so much you know cheaper but uh, I'm not a money person um, I can make do with whatever I have that's the reason why I got a cheap car no well it's not too cheap but you understand like I made sure that it was something less than $400 so i'm gonna go ahead and stop this video like comment subscribe let me know um and also like i said i'm just gonna pay my bills th like 300 dollars worth of bills maybe pay my car note off um give my aunt some money that's it that's it so probably all in all once i finish i may have like 400 500 dollars left over maybe more i'm not and i am one i'm I budget everything so I have it in my phone um I have to add take away from that list but and I may put down for an apartment I really doubt it because I'm really not sure where I want to be but by the next time I get paid I want to know what area that I want to live as well as have the apartment in mind so that's the reason why I'm thinking I may hold off on actually um going to put in application the fees and all of that deposit just because as of right now today right now i don't know but um and plus one place i went to i want to check out that apartment again so because they had some really good reviews and the place that i wanted to stay in that the place that i when i told y'all on my video i had a place they got some bad reviews like i don't know what i was doing like i must have been looking at the best reviews or something like that to skill because you was like going in order but like from newest but i guess i did it when i found that apartment complex but i like it so i don't know but bye guys i enjoyed you guys let me know again your face routine what you guys want to hear see what else any other questions that you may have i'll try to answer bye